Saturday. It's my goal to get this thing running. Uh, it doesn't need much. I gotta put new injectors on it. I gotta make an exhaust. I gotta raise the front end because it's, it's literally undrivable at the moment. Uh, wire in that headlight because it came unplugged and the full of wires broke. Uh, the cluster lights don't work. Yeah, I think, I think it's just a fuse though. Thankfully it doesn't need much, but we gotta get it done today. Today and tomorrow. So that's the plan. Let's get to it. So, uh, I was having issues where, not that one, these injectors wouldn't fit. They're decapped injectors. They wouldn't fit in the hole. So I had to drill them out very carefully. So these ones pop right in. As you can see, using grease so it doesn't drop all the, the things inside. We got that side to do, this side's already done. I just gotta plug it all back in. So we got injectors plugged in. Uh, this is some very ghetto exhaust flange that we're gonna use here. Uh, this is just gonna weld onto it and blow it straight out the side of the car. It does not sit flush. Uh, I'm not very good with my measuring, so we're just gonna weld it and fill some gaps. As you can see, it does not sit flush, but we will make it work. Okay, so I got my hood rat exhaust made. The welds look very terrible, but it is sealed. Uh, it's routed underneath the car. I unfortunately have to drill a giant gaping hole in my fender. And that's a really big bummer because I spent a lot of time wrapping that, but you're gonna watch me do that. All right, now that I got the right drill, you're gonna have to hold this very tight. I gotta pull off this one. Watch your fingers though from behind. <laughs> My bad. Oh, that is ugly. I got I got fiberglass on you. I'm sorry. Oh, it smells like fart. That, that was just me. But it's not terribly ugly, but it ain't beautiful. Just like me. You're going to prison for that. Probably. I'll wipe that down because that, that was terrible. So we got the exhaust all done. My very poor cutout. I actually. If you see, I have a hole saw right there. I literally cut a hole in it and then tack welded the exhaust in place, took it off, welded it, and then it didn't fit. So it looks pretty bad, but it'll work. Uh, I have to drill a hole for my O2 sensor. My Holly one, it, it's laying around here somewhere. I gotta find it. I think this is it right here. Maybe. Let me trace that wire down and figure that out. I don't know if that's it or not. I believe it is. So yeah, I got to drill a hole in the exhaust for this, weld the bung in. That'll be that. So it is pretty much ready to fire. I got the filter mounted up. O2 bung, terribly welded in, but it is sealed. Uh, all the wiring cleaned up, everything looks good. Uh, I think it's pretty much ready to fire. It needs an oil cap. That's getting delivered right now. So we're gonna go pick that up real quick. He's barking. Uh, other than that, I have a buyer lined up for it. So, unfortunately, as much as I would love to keep it, I do like money. And that money will make me do fun things and cool things. That hanging onto this thing, it won't do. So, yeah, we're going to go get the oil cap. We're going to come back. Hopefully, fire this thing up. And I'm back little dark I wait for the lights to turn on last piece of the puzzle <sighs> brand new from Amazon Prime it ain't going in there it is yay baby official 
theoretically, it should be ready to start. Everything is done. I need to, I, mean, I don't need to, I'm gonna take the bumper off, set it on the ground. I'm actually going to find the fuse for the gauge cluster because it don't light up. Other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. All right, well, it turns out the fuse for the cluster was fine. Uh, the dimmer switch was actually just turned down. So that's fixed. Easy solution. I gotta, um, I'm gonna unplug these coil packs so I can crank it over, make sure it's not gonna be spitting fuel out. Because I really don't want this thing running if it's spewing gas everywhere. All right, well, we're gonna see if it runs. Don't any fuel leaks. All right, trade me. Be ready with the water. Oh wait, I gotta plug the plug pack back in. And it goes start with that coil pack. It's not smoking as much. That makes me nervous, but it won't start. You plug everything back in. I think. That was loud. It's running. I'm blurry. There we go. Uh, the buyer is actually going to be here tomorrow uh, around 6.30. So unfortunately, it is definitely the coolest car I've ever owned, but money. I'm going to buy some really cool things for the shop. I got a lift lined up. Uh, I've got a really cool car that I've been trying to build for the past year that I'm going to try and pick up this week or next week. And I think I make some cool content. So. It sounds nuts. Sounds great. Needs a tune. It's got a huge cam, so it's gonna need a tune eventually. I mean, it need to tune the drive, really. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I built this thing from a non-running and driving hoopty that was ugly as hell with Rocket Bunny and 
a jerry-rigged harness that didn't work, a new harness, ECU, body kit, over fenders, front fenders, uh, kept the stock wheels, coilovers, exhaust, changed it to NA. Hold up, I'll show you because I fucking, I changed the, uh, I gotta find the hood, hood cable here. Ah, got the intake on my hood, hood red exhaust you know not bad run the drive don't leak not drive but I'm not gonna claim that I built the car when all the car was was a rear end and the engine put in the car that's all it was I changed everything else so cool car look cool I'm bleeding runs runs sick Go sell it, make some money. I like money. Get this thing running. That would be cool. Might order a cage for the drift car. That needs one, so that's the plan. Order cage kits. Get this thing finally running again, because it's been like two months. It's literally five minutes of work away from running, and I just have been so busy, I haven't gotten to it. Yep, that's it. Till next time. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm a nobody on YouTube. I'm just a random dude building cars for me because I don't really care what other people think I should do it for myself. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.